Greek mythology has always kept us on the edge. With its almighty gods and terrifying monsters, this genre has been the central theme of many books, movies, TV series, and animations. Be it Percy Jackson or Clash of the Titans, we have at least once in life come across the legends of Greek mythology. Now, among those creations, Blood of Zeus has also been successful in garnering attention from the crowd. Of course, it's about a demigod, and yeah, of course, he's the son of Zeus. But what made it attract people even more is the fact that it is an anime. And well, we all know how large the fanbase of anime really is. Now, in season 2 of this wonderful anime, we get to see none other than Typhon. And mark my words, with this inclusion in the series, the gods are going to have a very bad time. Well, for those of you who don't know who Typhon is, then this video is for you. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. You. Let's begin. Who is Typhon, and how was he born? According to Greek mythology, Typhon is the child of Gaia and Tartarus. Well, that makes Typhon the ruler of both Earth and the Underworld since his birth. There have been many other theories of his origins, and one such theory calls Typhon the child of Gaia, without any mention of Tartarus. Some even believe that Gaia bore Typhon in anger at the gods who destroyed all her offspring, the giants. But as we look at the Blood of Zeus anime, we see that the origin story has been changed a bit. I can't give assurance about which story is true, so I'll just lay out the anime story as well, and you can decide which one you'd like to believe. According to the anime, when the last titan fell in their war with the gods, the birth of the giants took place, all from the blood that spilled from the titans. Among those giants was a supreme creature who stayed underwater for a long time, waiting for the giants to serve their purpose. He was asked not to create problems for the other giants. However, as the giants fell one by one, the supreme creature rose up from the depths of the sea. With huge horns, large wings, the eyes of a serpent, and a terrible roar, Typhon finally emerged, and it didn't take him seconds to start destroying the first human settlement he laid his eyes on. But Zeus and the gods fought against him, and somehow managed to subdue Typhon, and trap him under Mount Etna. But since then, nobody ever dared speak his name, fearing that he would return and once again the earth would suffer from his wrath. Is he the strongest creature in Greek mythology? Let me first tell you what he looks like. He's an enormous creature, somewhere between the size of a kraken and Godzilla. His head doesn't have any hair on it, instead he has serpents. If you're thinking about Medusa, then trust me, Medusa is the brand ambassador of L'Oreal shampoo compared to this guy. This guy has 100 serpents on his head, much of them breathing fire and uncanny noises. He has two massive horns, where a family of pterodactyls can rest, and in the Greek depiction, he has tails of serpents as well. In the anime, we see he has five fingers on each hand, but in some depictions, he has more snakes for fingers. Well, in the anime, his roar is like the remix version of Godzilla meets T-Rex from Jurassic Park, and to make him even more more supreme, he's got a pair of wings, kind of like demon wings. Now tell me, how strong do you think this creature is? Well, he's actually the strongest creature in Greek mythology. As far as the topic of comparison goes, different books and movies say different things. In the anime, we still can't be sure if he will be shown as the strongest or not, but we saw him losing to the Zeus and Hades duo in the backstory. However, in Rick Riordan's book of Percy Jackson's Greek gods, he's talked about as even stronger than any individual Olympian god. Yes, he's actually stronger than Hades and Poseidon. Now what about Zeus? Let's discuss that now. Is Typhon stronger than Zeus? Who would win? Generally speaking from the old mythologies, Typhon can be considered stronger than Zeus. Typhon was on a rampage and became the ultimate threat to the Olympian gods. Typhon was born to fight the Olympians, and as infuriated as Gaia was with the gods, she bestowed upon Typhon the strength of 100 giants. One can say that he was actually born with the strength that surpassed the three big gods combined, and at least thrice the strength of each of them. Yeah, we see that Zeus and his allies defeat Typhon and seal him under Mount Etna. However, he wasn't killed. It is said that he's unkillable, and it's the path Blood of Zeus has decided to follow. But we can't say anything more about that until Season 3 is released. Apart from the anime franchise, Rick Riordan, the one famous for writing Greek mythological fiction, clearly states that Typhon is stronger and this can be seen in his work where Zeus couldn't even get out of Typhon's grasp. But for the anime, it totally depends on Charlie and Vlas Parlapanides. But I personally think that they'll choose ancient theories instead of fiction. Who are Typhon's children and wife? The ruler of the underworld and earth mated with Echidna to give birth to the most famous monsters in Greek mythology. Echidna was half woman and half snake, and used to live in the dark caves. But her story with Typhon made her the mother of all the deadliest creatures to ever be born on earth. Typhon is basically the father of all monsters. If you're accustomed to the story of Heracles or Hercules, you might have heard the names of the Nemean lion or the Hydra. They're both children of Typhon and Echidna. The list of their children goes on. Some of the most famous among them are the Sphinx, Gorgon, Cerberus, Chimera, and more. 
The first offspring, according to Hesod, was the Orthrus, who guarded the cattle of Geryon, and yeah, Hercules fought it as well. Now, as Heron, the main character of the anime, Blood of Zeus, and the Son of Zeus, just like Heracles, there's a possibility that we'll be seeing the Seven Labors in a different fashion. Well, he's a fictional character, invented just for the show, so we can't be sure of anything, but at the same time, we can expect everything. No fictional protagonist in an anime universe will lose to Typhon's children. Will the Olympians finally fall? Will the introduction of Typhon finally destroy the Olympians? It's a known fact that not many people like Zeus's operations. He's the god of gods, but he fails to garner respect from the believers. Maybe it's because of his affairs or his selfishness for which he gets the hate. However, the ones who were dreaming of seeing Zeus lose might finally get something out of this anime. Typhon can easily give Zeus a hard time, and if they face one versus one, there's about 99% chance that Typhon would win. However, we all know how cunning Zeus is. There have been many instances in Greek mythology where Zeus barely survived or was saved when Typhon was around the corner. That might happen too in the anime. Zeus always has a trick up his sleeve and Typhon is a through and through knucklehead. So I'll be betting on Zeus. But if the creator of Typhoons and the god of volcanic eruptions, Typhon, finally gets his rematch in Blood of Zeus, it'll surely be one of the most heaven and earth shattering battles ever witnessed in anime history. Marvelous Verdict Personally, I've always been intrigued by Greek mythology. There are stories that will give you goosebumps, and some will just make you furious. But from the Sirens and Gorgons to Medusa and the Kraken, there's no such creature that can go unappreciated. And out of all of them, the one that shines the brightest is the star of this video, Typhon. It's not because he has a big heart, but because he is as ruthless as it comes. The only creature to ever scare the gods. Yep, this is the only time when even release the Kraken wouldn't work. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!